castles are built to last, right? A hundred years, five hundred years, a thousand years. So why build a castle that only exists for three months and has to be rebuilt every single year when it melts? Well, what if that was the point? What if you were building it not for the finished product, but just because you like building stuff? We're just creating for fun, creating something that's going to melt. And because you want to make something that looks like it belongs in a fairy tale. I'm Sleeping Beauty, it's nice to meet you. I was just blown when I saw it, blown away. Even if it can't last forever, but then the best things in life never do. So in what faraway land of ice and snow might you find this unique castle? Tell me at what state of it. Um, okay, I'm sure. This is the aptly named White Mountains National Forest. Now, there's no doubt that this is one of the most beautiful parts of the country. But people who don't like the cold tend to stay away, because temperatures here have been known to fall as low as minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit with wind chill. Yes, minus 100 degrees. We have the trees and we have a lot of land and we have the ice castles. For the last four winters, this hidden corner of New England has been home to the ice castle, a gargantuan structure made up of over 25 million pounds of ice. Thousands of visitors come to explore the turrets, tunnels, slides and sculptures that seem to have sprung out of the ground like magic. They have really fun slides with lights yes. in them. I'm ready for anything. And a fire-breathing princess. I was scared she was going to blow the whole thing out. And then we called the fire department, and then something bad would happen, and then maybe she would get arrested. Arabelle and Lily are best friends or worst enemies, depending on the day. Arabelle completely looks up to Liliana. I think she wants to be like Lily one day. Come on! Oh! Why do I keep on this thing? <laughs> How did you feel when you first saw the ice castle? I felt amazing. I felt like, how did they build this? It could be all magic. And... They might have done magic, I don't know. The ice castle is in fact built with magic. But it's the kind of magic that results from a group of craftspeople working in sub-freezing temperatures for a cumulative 8,000 hours. We actually harvest our own icicles here, and then we take them and stick them where we want the ice to grow. And then we turn on the sprinkler system, and overnight it'll grow together, and once it grows together, it's strong enough to get up on top. I mean, keep building from there. And there's another group of people who help shape the castle without even knowing it, the visitors themselves. I like for people to, to touch it and get in it and see them interacting with the ice. They're essentially helping me carve because the heat from people's mittens and bottoms <laughs> will continue to carve the castle and smooth it out. I'm gonna try to knock off this part. Is it fun? Yeah, it is fun. Is it's it like really all fun. year? Sorry. No, no, uh, we start building in uh, December, usually, you when it gets cold enough. I think you have to be 18, but you just apply online. And I really like telling children how it's made. I'm like, this is the next generation of artists. I like to work with happy accidents, and ice is great because you don't have a lot of control over it. It's all up to the weather, and it changes all the time. New Hampshire, it's, it's a tough place to live because you have to be able to handle the winters. I think everyone's a little stir-crazy and you just don't know what to do when you're trapped in your house all the time, and especially if you have kids. I feel like art could help to make connections and work through things. How do you spell sadness? S-A-T-N. Art is a great way to work through problems and emotions and putting emotions into something. Is that you? Mm -hmm. I feel for my children because for most of their life, it was almost, you know, picture perfect. And then it went from perfect to crumbling really fast. Oh, no. oh, okay. Well, my mom and my dad got in a divorce. Sometimes stuff is just for the best, and sometimes that's just gonna happen. 
Christmas wasn't like all the Christmases before. So we went to the ice castles and I think it was just the pick me up we all kind of needed. It was a day away from reality and it was, it was magical. You know, maybe it's not a bad thing that they're experiencing heartbreak so early on because they're learning that there is life after heartbreak. You can go through something and you can be in a lot of pain and you can get through it and you can come out stronger. If Arabelle said I would give her a hug and say, just try to think of the good times you had or the good times that you will have. All good things come to an end. Maybe that's what helps us realize that they are good things. And besides, who knows, something even better might be around the corner. I'm happy to see it melt. It needs to be renewed, it needs to melt. Sometimes though, Mother Nature needs a little bit of help. The ice castle is so big that even when temperatures get above freezing, it has to be knocked down because it takes too long to melt. I definitely embrace change. Dive into a season, and then as soon as you're sick of that season, that season's gone and there's a new season. When spring comes, I start to garden. As soon as the drips of the ice castle start happening, I was like, okay, so let's have some springtime. I want to see plants burst out of the ground, and I want to tackle them. Are you excited to go back next year? Yes. yes. I'm so excited, because maybe there will be another fire breathing princess and the slides hopefully will still be there and maybe there will be a little change mm -hmm.